I'm Jinx with the Frag Dolls here for GameInvasion.net. I'm about to head over to Ubi Days, Ubisoft's annual showcase of their upcoming games, and I'm going to get a look inside Splinter Cell Conviction. Check it out. I'm joined by Matthew Ferland, and we're going to talk about Splinter Cell Conviction. So this is the fifth title in the Splinter Cell series. What is it this time? It's for the first time since the original Splinter Cell, we're changing uh, the core mechanics and the core gameplay. Sam Fisher used to be you know, a special agent, and then he becomes double agent. And now uh, Sam is, uh, will, is a fugitive. Yeah, so what, what's the distinction there between double agent and fugitive? As a fugitive, you're all alone. People are, all, people are hunting you. And um, you know, those who you used to work for are hunting you. So you're, uh, you don't have resources. You need to rebuild all your resources. You need to rebuild your network. And you need to figure out what's going on and why people suddenly, a uh, third echelon is running after you. Yeah, and you're not just changing that story of going from being an agent of the third echelon to being a fugitive, but you're also changing the gameplay. Sam is no longer in the dark. What's up with that? After four episodes based on lights and shadow and classic infiltration, to us, the future uh, of stealth experience was somewhere else. And uh, we spent two years of developing a big simulation playground where everything can interact together. You can use, pick up any object, throw it, use it as a weapon, as a defensive tool, as a tool to simply create diversion. You can interact with people, uh, play with crowds and such things. And to us, this big dynamic environment, well, it was not possible in previous generation of co console anyway. And uh, it's a good match with a fugitive because as a fugitive, you need to think faster, you need to move faster, and you need to find anything because when you're trapped, you don't have gears, you don't have weapons. Sam used to be uh, g given orders giving all the gears he wanted. So he had a lot of power, but not much freedom. Now, as a fugitive, surprisingly, he gains all the freedom. His goal is not to kill people, it's to find his own you know, clues about what's happening and, and try to identify who, who exactly is running after and who's behind all this problematic. So uh, to me, uh, this setup and all the, the mechanics that are is supporting this new concept is a very good achievement for, for the team in a, a very positive uh, evolution for the brand. Yeah, from what I've seen of the game today, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really excited to play it, and I'm, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me a little bit about, uh, about the game today. Thank you. My pleasure.